and aircon put fully low and uh, fan high and cool however I am going to switch off the car and I am going to do the rest of thing and also going to open this two tap yeah gradually it's coming to the correct level however I am happy with this Welcome to the channel. Today I got Nissan Duke 2015 model. Basically, customer says no any cool air inside the car. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to diagnostic and how I'm going to sort out the problem. Still, I don't know anything in this car. I don't have any clue. I'm going to step by step and show you what I'm going to do, how I'm going to resolve. Please stay with me, take a good idea, don't going to skip this video, if you skip, you are going to missing very important things, because of that, stay with me, let's go inside the car. Hold on please, if you still not subscribe my channel, please do it now and press bell icon, then you can get a lot of useful videos and tips like this. If you have any question, comment, suggestion, you know what to do, mention below. I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Let's go inside the car. I'm going to start the car and aircon put fully low and uh, fan high and I'm going to check how about the temperature inside. Thirty five point three. You can see aircon on, but this blowing very warm air. Basically, customer right. Now, next step, we have to find out what's going on here. First of all, I'm going to connect my computer here. Let's connect. Now, switch off the aircon, engine off, and ignition on right now ignition on going to the computer I'm going to call full scan report got the scan report there is a one faulty code under engine management you can see P0530 refrigerant pressure sensor voltage basically this message say to us no refrigerant inside the system or pressure sensor faulty however we have a path to go we know now no pressure there basically no any other fault code for the related to the aircon only the P0530 now I'm going to engine bay and show you what time I'm going to do engine bay. I'm going to ignition off and leave it everything as it is. Let's go to the engine bay. This side always spinning but this outside when I on AC it need to be spinning. According to the computer fault I know this one shouldn't be spin however I'm going to check physically what's going on here I'm going to start the car I start the car and aircon on you can see this inside spinning but outside not spinning now computer fault record confirm physically this is the problem no refrigerant inside the system then I'm going to do another one more diagnostic and show you how we going to check inside any refrigerant I'm going to switch off the car and show you next step I'm going to open this cap
Next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to refill gas with UV dye and check all system working fine. If it not, we'll see what I'm going to do. The step, however, I'm going to refill the system. First, service the system and after that, check the vacuum test. Then if it's okay, I'm going to refill gas with UV dye. Let's go with the machine now. Also, if you doesn't know which gas your vehicle has, sometimes it come with like a sticker like this somewhere here. If it not, you can find out this hood. This vehicle has a sticker here. You can see this vehicle has a R134A. When you're going to top up, top up R134A. Normally, you shouldn't top up other gas because this filling point not match with other gas. Because of that, don't worry, but make sure follow the instruction. Now, machine doing the job. Take out all inside gas and air. Then after that doing the vacuum test and going to refill dye and gas. Now I had to wait for a 20 minutes to until machine doing the job. Now you can see as it is leak test pass. Now machine will do the rest of thing. I had to still wait for until machine finished the job now inject oil then after that this will inject refrigerant you can see now circle n i'm going to off both lines and out from this menu then i'm going to start the car this bar need to go with colored line and this needle come to this colored line I'm going to start the car and going to aircon on. Right, now you can see the both gauges coming to the colored line. At the moment, I can feel inside also nice and cool. However, I am going to switch off the car and I'm going to do the rest of thing and I'll show you what happened inside the car. Next step, what I'm going to do inside this hose refrigerant there, it's not good for the environment because of that whatever left it inside this hose, we need to take back to the machine. Need to be environment friendly, that's why because I know some people leave it as it is, they don't care, but I had to take out as much I can from here. What we have to do, first we need to release this coupling, otherwise inside air also come into the machine, if you not release this two coupling. Right, make sure it's release but don't going to open and also when I touch this low pressure line I feel very cool around this area and little bit you can see moisture also little bit around this area that's mean this AC working fine now I open the coupling there then I'm going to select recovery and also going to open this two tap high pressure and low pressure and press ok auto right now whatever left in this hose it will come into the machine right recovery job done now i need to close this tap and 
out from this menu right then after that switch off the machine then i'm going to remove this coughlin when you're going to do it don't going to put it your face there and they are the gloves if you have a glasses better to wear the glass otherwise stay away from this coughlin and lift up this bottom coughlin and you can remove right then this one also same lift up right and after that make sure this both valves not leaking if it not leak you can close the lid make sure close this valve cap nicely otherwise if it something leak this valve hold in the job now it's all nice and tight let's go inside the car right i'm going to start the car and air con on and i'll put it to the towards to face right give a little bit rev i already feel inside very cold i'm going to check with my right you can see early it's 34 now it's 18 now 14.4 i'll keep the car running like a 2 3 minute little bit rev the engine now we'll see how it's going on see it's gradually drop down but still i can't say it's good good air con but we'll see i'm going to give one minute and i'll check again right keep the car running couple of minute now i'm going to check inside temperature you see already 7.1 6.3 7.2 4.9 yeah gradually it's coming to the correct level however i'm happy with this job now we have a cool layer inside the car if you have a like this problem you know what to do now please follow this video take a good idea after that you know what you're going to do thanks for watching i'm charlie from sanu motors